Have, hello everyone, this is B Michael. I'm here in 1987 and I'm here to give you a good overview for Metal Gear Online Tactical Team Operations. This is a free add-on download for the Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain, which is basically the online component of that game. And to be honest, after playing for a few weeks and just having some satisfying fun with it, I must say that I really enjoy Metal Gear Online. I've never played a Metal Gear Online game before. This is my first experience. To be honest, it's a really good one. Now there's three classes for your character to pick it. Now, the game basically picks a character from the avatar you created in the campaign, and basically you're allowed to pick three choices. Enforcer, Infiltrator, and Scout. Scout is your sniper rifle with, uh, basically he's your sniper buddy, he can be able to um, examine enemies on better. Enforcer is much more of your soldier character, who can handle uh, much more uh, bullets, but not by that many. And then there's your Infiltrator, who's basically all close and personal, with close combat weapons, and the cloak ability, which is also awesome. Now, I believe you are able to make uh, another character based on using avatar face, and uh, basically um, pick your other classes. So you never stop at one class, but you just change your, your gear or loadout, basically, which is also fine. And basically, after and I was kind of worried about this game's online component because I was worried that it would be like Grand Theft Auto Online or other games that had online launches where it just didn't work. Thankfully, Metal Gear Online served uh, online. Well, I had a, a few uh, problems here and there, which around what I got stuck. And like in a loading issue, most of the time the game play and the servers worked perfectly. There was no real that many issues. Why well, I didn't get a chance to play? Like I was stuck in the free play lobby for like a few minutes. After those few minutes, I just got back into playing, and I got it. It was really smooth. The, uh, the frame rate never dropped, and the game definitely looks good with all the animations that it's throwing at you and all the action that it has. Um, to be honest, there's only three uh, modes in this actual experience. There is the Bounty Hunter mode, which is basically, basically team deathmatch, but with a twist. Uh, basically what happens here is, you can basically Fulton attract someone out of the zone, and basically you get more points, which gives you a higher chance to win and survive the game, basically. There's also a Calm Control, which is a lot like um, Domination. These three areas that you must take control of, and basically, it's like a time ticker now, basically, you basically have to survive to the end. Um, then there's also Cloak and Dagger, which is much more of a stealth, search and destroy type of scenario. If you die, you're instantly uh, dead and you can't come back to life. There's two rounds, basically. One team must uh, steal an object, uh, some information, while the other team must protect the object, no matter what. And it's, it's all uh, fine, overall. And to be honest, it's all satisfying, and it's, most of the time it's balanced. I did have, I gotta admit though, Bounty Hunter is my most favorite mode out of the three. Due to the fact I just love uh, the, the style that you can pick here and all the ways it works. Um, to be honest, the other two, how can I say it? They weren't my favorites, but they were satisfying and they did uh, allow me to basically uh, figure out how to play much better. I think the other two were kind of weaker in my opinion because uh, the amount of time I had with it wasn't as strong as I did uh, Bounty Hunter. I didn't have that. I couldn't have that much time with it. Because a lot of people did not want to play Bounty Hunter. I mean, not, not a lot of people. Not a lot of people want to play Con Control and Cloak and Dagger. Most of them want to play Bounty Hunter most of the time. So I think that's why my my opinion on the other two modes, Con Control and uh, Cloak and Dagger, while short lived, is not as satisfied as much as uh, Bounty Hunter. I mean, it's my favorite out of the three. Saying that, the other two modes are satisfying and they all work well. Um, now each uh, mode has its own quirks to it as a way of style of play. While one mode may require you to go full out action, rush into your enemies to kill them, the other one will require on your stealth abilities and see how you do to survive. This may be um, a little bit challenging to get used to, but overall, the experience is overall satisfying. Overall, no bugs or server issues, thankfully. Um, uh, I did. Um, Actually, I noticed a few very drops. Well, rephrase that. I did notice like a very drop here or there. But the only reason for that was due to like someone's server being kind of wonky or just not the best. Um, I must say though, uh, the entire experience overall will be satisfying overall. And what's cool about the mode is out of your teams, out of, there's two teams. There's the liquid team and the solid team. And out of each team, one of your care, one of your players will either be a uh, big boss or ocelot. Now that's kind of it's a cool idea. I like that a lot. But you don't get any special quirks. I mean, yes, Ocelot does get the two guns that can shoot off walls, but that's um, I, that's like the, one of the few things that stands out from being uh, the Ocelot Snake. He just has his awesome sight rifle, and he has the little uh, red dot sight, like the customizable one from the campaign mode. But that's it, really. Um, to be honest, to say that this is the best most like experience ever. 
could be a uh, uh, really hard to say. Because, to be honest, this mode, uh, this uh, Metal Gear Online is limited due to the fact there's only three modes. And it's, uh, uh, like, possibly, like, six, like, not that, not, I don't think there's not that many maps here. What's cool is there is day and night cycles for each mode, so you can play either in the daytime or in the nighttime, depending on how you feel about it. And it's, no matter what, it always feels fun to play. I mean, it's, it's optimized well. Um... I didn't notice any freezing or crashing, which is thankfully a good thing. I did, I did get kicked out once for some weird reason from an online server, but that's it. Overall, the Metal Gear Online experience is one that's satisfactory, and I'd give it a thumbs up and a recommendation. But that's it for this review, guys. If you want more reviews, check out my channel on TheMichael1997, and I'll see you guys on our next video. Okay? Bye-bye, and have a good one.